Okay, in the previous video I showed you how to calculate the slope of a line and I explained what we mean by the slope. In this video we're going to have a look at calculating the slope of a curve. So, let's say we take the curve, say a simple one, f of x is equal to x squared. Now let's sketch that curve. So that, that curve is going to look like this. So it'll, it'll cross at 0, 0 and it'll come up and it'll get a little bit steeper. You can see the slope changes as it goes up. So let's mark a few points on it. So we have the x value 1, 2, 3, Four, and we'll just put one more, say five, and the corresponding y value as well. When x, when the x value is one, this is this axis up here is the y is equal to f of x axis. So when x is equal to one, the corresponding y value will one squared is also one. When x equals two, two squared is four, so the corresponding y value will be four. When x equals three, three squared is nine, so this corresponding y value over here is nine. When x equals four. Uh, which is this point up here, the corresponding y value 4 squared is 16 and when x equals 5 which will be up, let's say here, the corresponding y value uh, it's going to be 5 squared which is 25. Okay, so one thing that you'll notice is that the slope, I know which I said before, the slope is changing. It's much steeper up at the top part so if you were if you were trying to walk up here it's much steeper up here than it is down here. So we've got to come up with a method to find the slope. So let's say we want to find the slope down at this point down here, down at the point 1, 1. We want the slope at the point 1, 1, this point down here. So what, one thing that we could do is we know how to find the slope of a line. So let's say we drew a line and found an approximate value for the slope. So let's say we pick two points. We want the slope down here, remember, at the point 1, 1. Let's say we draw a line between this point here and this point up here and we find the slope of that line. So I'm going to try and draw a straight line between those two points. It probably won't turn out to be very straight, but I'll do my best. That's not too bad. Okay, so there's the line. So let's say we want to find the slope down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slope of this line because I know how to find the slope of a line. And I'm going to say, well, that's an approximate value for the slope down there. So the slope of that line would be so the change in the y values. So the y values, well, we've got 25 and 1. So it'll be 25 minus 1 divided by the change in the x values. So the corresponding x values are 5 minus and 1. So we're finding the slope between this point and this point. So that'll give us 24 divided by 6, which is, no, 24 divided by 4, which is equal to 6. So an approximate value for the slope right there is 6. It's not a very good approximate value because really what we did, we found the slope of that line. And this line and the curve are not the same thing. You can see they're, they're quite different. Okay, so what could we do to get a better approximate value, given that we only know how to find the slope of a line? Well, one thing that we could do is, rather than find the slope between this point and this point, say if we found the slope between this point and, let's say, this point. Okay, so let's try and draw the straight line between those two points. So. Straight line, let me see, so I have to come, I come up here. Okay, so there's the straight line between those two points. And you can see that this straight line, remember we're trying to find the slope down here, this straight line approximates the curve much better. There's not as much of a gap between the curve and the line as there is between this, the curve and this line. So if I find the slope of this line, I will get a much better approximate for the slope of the curve right there. So let's do that. So the slope of this line, let's call this, I'm going to call this line, let's say A, and I'm going to call this line B. So the slope of line A, there's A, okay, so the slope of line B would be, it's the y value, so the corresponding y value to this point is 9 minus the corresponding y value to this point, because we're finding the slope between that point and that point. So 9 minus 1 divided by corresponding x value, we got 3 and 1, so divided by 3 minus 1. 9 minus 1 is 8, 3 minus 1 is 2, so we got 8 over 2, which is 4. Okay, so you can see, you can see at this point here, the slope is quite flat. The first approximate we got for the slope was 6, the second approximate we got for the slope was 4. We got the second approximate by taking two points that were much closer together, and we got, and we got, a, we got a slope that was much less steep. So this, the, the first the slope of the first line was 6, slope of the second line was 4, and but the second line, line B, is a much better approximate for the curve, because it's much closer to it. So, okay, well I could do exactly the same thing as I did before. Rather than take this point and this point, 
I could take this point and this point and draw a line between those two points. Watch what happens when I do that. You can see that the line will become much closer to the curve. So you can see there, there's a much less gap. I don't, now you should be able to pick it up on the camera there. There's much less of a gap in there than there is say between here and here. So the slope of line C, let's call that C, would be a much better approximate to the slope of the curve right there than line A or line B. So let's find the slope of line C. So the slope is the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values. So the y values, remember it's between this point and this point now, the y value is four minus one. So the change in the y value is four minus one divided by the change in the x values. We've got two minus one this time, so two minus one. So four minus one is three. 2 minus 1 is 1, so the slope is 3. And you can see the slope is a little bit less again. So every time we move the points a little bit closer together, we get a better approximate value for the slope where we want it. So I'm going to draw the graph out again just so you can uh, see it a little bit clearer. And we explain what eventually we would do. So there's the point 1, 2, 3. So this is just the same graph drawn out again. So, the last time we found the slope between this point and this point. The first time we found the slope between this point and a point way up here, this one and this one. Every time we moved the two points closer, we got a better value for the slope, a better approximate for the slope. So, what would happen if I could move those two points, this point, I'm just going to mark it with an X so you can see it better. If I could move those two points infinitely closer together. Well, if I could move those two points infinitely closer together, I would get a really, really, really good approximate value for the slope. And that's what differentiation is all about. Differentiation, when we differentiate a curve, what we're finding is a, a value for the slope of the curve, or we're finding um, a formula that allows us to find the slope of a curve at any point. So we want to, I wanted to find the slope of the curve here, which is the point one, one. I wanted to find the slope of the curve one, one, when I differentiate that curve, and in the next few videos I'm going to show you how to differentiate, I, I will be able to find the slope right here. And what we're going to do, the, what the method of differentiation, all it does is it moves these two points infinitely closer together. And it does that by using limits.